misconceptions about credit cards. Today we are gonna share three different misconceptions of myths about credit cards. Now these three myths or misconceptions are questions that my friends can ask me before when they themselves are considering to apply for a credit card. So I thought it might be a good idea to place these three misconceptions together in this video today. So this video is for you out there who is considering to apply for a credit card. Now we have a series of credit card videos. I'll put the link here so that you can check them out and look for a good credit card that might suit you more. Hope you find your best credit card like I do. For me, my best one is Maybank Family and Friends credit card. Alright, enough of small talk and introduction. Let's get on with this three misconception right now. Hello, Kilby here. Thinking about getting a credit card, three misconceptions. The first one that we are going to share will be getting a credit card means you will be paying interest and getting into debt. Now, this is the first misconception because not a lot of people ask me actually about that. More of them ask about the other two. But there are a few friends who had asked me before whether by applying for a credit card, they are getting themselves into interest debt. But for the rest of you, of course, you know it's not true because how a credit card works is whenever you make a payment or swipe with your card, the bank will pay the merchant first. I mean, not immediately, they still have to wait a few days, but they will be paying the merchant. And what happens at the back end is you are indebted to the credit card company. You are in debt. You owe the credit card company a certain amount of money for every single payment that you make. And then at the end of a one month credit cycle, there will be a billing period of between 20 to 30 days where you can make payment on that billing statement. So if let's say you swipe a thousand dollars in that month and you make payment of a thousand dollars within the next 20 to 30 days of your billing cycle, it would mean that you do not owe the bank any money, which would therefore lead to zero interest payment because you don't owe the bank any money. So remember, as long as you pay your credit card bills back in full before the end of the billing cycle, which as shared earlier, may be between 20 to 30 days, if you pay them off in full, then you do not have to worry about any interest payment, late payment fees, etc. Now we will move on to the second misconception of myth about credit card, that applying for more credit card than you need would affect your credit score. Now it is not true, at least not totally true or not permanently true. Now what is true is whenever we apply for a credit card and we search ourselves, and then we call the bank or we email the bank or we apply online for a new credit card, the bank would need to do a hard inquiry into our credit score and for the local context, we would need to get our credit score from the credit bureau and anytime a bank makes a hard inquiry, it will be on our record for the next six months to a year depending on how the credit score works in your country. So within this six months to a year period, your credit score will be reduced from its normal levels. Now the reason for hard inquiries to affect our credit score is because the banks do not want anyone to start applying for 10 different credit cards and then maxing all of them out with his or her perfect credit score and then going bankrupt. What they want as customers are customers who will keep using the card and then not paying off the full amount but they do not want customers who cannot pay their bills. Therefore, this hard inquiry factor is important for our credit score. And then now move on to the third thing, the misconception or myth that you might have is that you need a bank account with the bank in order to apply for the credit card. Now that is totally not true, where well, the fact is actually the opposite. If you do not have an existing account with a bank, they would want you even more as a customer compared to their existing customer. Why so? Now the reason is very simple because any new customer has so much potential for upselling compared to their existing customer who might have brought certain products. Therefore, almost every single time, if you are new to this bank or that bank, they will offer you even greater rewards for signing up your first account with them, either a bank account or a new credit account, credit line, even the checking account. As long as you are a new customer, there's so many things that they could upsell you on. That is why they prefer you over their existing customer. So one good way if you are looking for rewards is to apply for cards from different banks so that you can get the most out of everything by being a new customer to many of them. That's all we have for you today. It will be a very short video because the whole recording is just 11
11 minutes or going 12 minutes but after editing it will probably be less than five minutes i hope so thank you for watching stay safe stay healthy merry christmas and see you guys next time